We should really stop doing this, you know. It's creating quite an unpleasant work environment. Loads of electronics in here too. Hello and welcome to Feedbackular. My thanks again to Seb who took the reins when I was unexpectedly off work last week. I lost my keys and couldn't get out of my house or something. Anyway, this week turns out loads of people are still really angry at Blizzard. Yes, Gamescom is happening this week, and in addition to some beer and sausages, the intrepid GameSpot team out in Cologne managed to turf up some gaming news as well. Blizzard, for instance, officially announced the first major expansion for dungeon crawler Diablo 3, named Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls, bringing with it a new class, new act, and a higher level cap for the game. A lot of you were decidedly unimpressed by the news, but you know what they say, you reap what you sow! Yay? One new act, and they'll want 60 bucks for it, right? F*** you, Blizzard. No expansion, make a f***ing sequel's worth. This isn't going to be your next WOW. Fool me once, shame on you! Fool me twice, nah, there's no twice! There's TPB! Geo getting money from me again, you greedy blizzards! Reaper of wallet, more like it. hey -oh! No thanks, Blizzard. You're not getting me a second time. Sod off. Path of Exile is free and better. How does that happen? How do a bunch of indie developers in New Zealand outbuild Activision slash Blizzard? And I'd say the answer to that one is that great design can come from anywhere, not just super industry mega giants, but I take your point. Instead of making Diablo 3, Blizzard should have made a sequel to Diablo 2. No one cares! Do you idiots at Blizzard really think bringing D3 to consoles and announcing an expansion for it as a special is going to salvage what you've done to this franchise? BlizzCon 13, being held in The Hague, where you will answer for your war crimes, you soulless bastards! Now, Diablo 3 was, I think it's fair to say, a very highly anticipated game, and the first two Diablo games are still cherished by scores of people. So, how exactly did Blizzard manage to squander so much goodwill? And the answer is... Auction House! The auction house has proven to be a banner around which all those disappointed with Diablo 3 have rallied, feeling it takes away the incentive to get items through, you know, actually playing the game. Game director Josh Mosquiera confirmed with GameSpot that the auction house will still feature in Reaper of Souls, an announcement that made some people very angry. But don't take my word for it, let's hear from somebody who's actually genuinely apoplectic. Take it away, Zimmerman. Trading items is one of the things you do in a game like Diablo. No, you don't! No, you don't! Who put this asshole in charge? It's abundantly clear he doesn't have the first clue of what he's talking about. Action RPGs are about trading items? In what universe? The whole attraction of those games is finding loot by earning it as a reward for the hordes of monsters you slay. I still get the shivers when I hear the cling of a gem drop in Diablo 2. Replacing this experience with 15 hours of reading a couple hundred spreadsheets in search for attractive deals is very much like replacing the experience going outdoors on a fishing trip with going online to a shop for salted herring. Yeah, the end result is fish in your fridge, no doubt about it. But the end result is not the point of a fishing trip! Yeah, f you, salt fish, you sodium laden bastard. Diablo was defeated. Poor old Blizzard, they've basically gone from being the kid everyone wants to hang out with in school to the weird guy who sits in the back of biology drawing dicks all over his textbook and smelling faintly of milk. Blizz may be trying to win back the hearts and minds of the people with Reaper of Souls, but from the looks of our community at least, it seems it's not having the best success. How do we know? Because we counted the number of people actually excited for the expansion, and there were around three. I pray that it will be enough. All right, with that, I'm off. Feedback Killer will return next week, but in the meantime, you can keep the conversation going by leaving us a comment, tweeting at Johnny, or using one of those newfangled hashtags I've been hearing so much about. See you next time. Yeah.